You know, it's interesting. Now that in this era of Trump, will athletes include themselves in these demonstrations to come this year. As you know, Jim Brown has met with him. Uh, Mike Tyson also has supported him in some ways. And more than anything else, this year's Super Bowl will be more politicized than any other Super Bowl, because you have the Patriots and also him and uh, Tom Brady have a, you know, pretty nice relationship there. So this remains to be seen, how athletes will step up in the coming this year and years to come. All right. Speaking of fighting, it's been said that the family that prays together stays together. But the family that boxes together is a three-punch combination in this year's New York Golden Gloves tourney starting next month. Joining me this week in the 132-pound class is Adia Bick Biggs fighting out of the blue corner. Also, welcome to BK Live. Hi. Uh, so, also, along for this ringside interview is the oldest two-time Golden Glove champ, 165-pound class, Justin Briggs, fighting out of the red corner. And great to have you also along. And also along with us is 140-pound, 141-pound open class is Chris Biggs. Also, welcome, Chris. I got to ask you guys, as far as boxing, how did this all come about with your family? I know your father was involved in getting you to it started. Um, well, I, had a, I have an older brother. Uh, he was a pretty big deal around Brooklyn, and uh, basically my my dad he would just take me everywhere with them. And, That's your uh, brother Raymond. Yeah. Okay. And he trained you know he trained him and stuff like that. So as a young boy, I would just be in the gym watching, 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 and then you know eventually my time came, and my dad just was very adamant about you know learning how to defend ourselves, and that boxing you know basically is a way to catapult yourself you know in life. So. All right. That's how I got started. Because you got to know all the angles yeah, as yeah, well as in the yeah, ring, yeah, such yeah. as in life. Yeah. Those uh -huh. people come at you in different yeah. ways, and you have to defend yourself, whether exactly. that's politically or physically. How mm -hmm. did you get started? I got started, actually, at one of his fights. I was really just shocked the way he demolished the guy. And it was at that moment I knew, I was like, I really want to do this, you know? I really want to be a part of something like this. I, how did you also, now your mother, I spoke to your mother, she said you sort of fell into it. I did, I did. Um, well, it was my senior year of high school, and I was trying to get ready for prom, and my brother was telling me, oh, you know, you can come to the gym, you can work out, you can lose weight, tone up, and I wanted to look really good. So <laughs> I did that to lose weight, and then I just found that I was good at it, so I stuck with it. When it comes to the history also of your family, your father was also involved, who recently passed. Mm -hmm. How did that bring you guys together as a family? Um, it, it, it was very diff difficult, you know, to say the least. Uh, but my dad, he always had the, this dream. Like, he wanted to be the greatest trainer of all time. And um, so we would just go around and I would just fight any champion or and I would just hunt them down and just to prove how good I was and how good he was as a trainer. So when he died, you know, he spoke to us and he said, basically, if there was a way for him to make a mark on this world, um, he would have done it. And basically, that nothing you know is harder than getting old and watching opportunities pass you by. So, to us, we just like kept that in our mind. And every fight, I'm like, there's nothing that anyone can do to me. I'm gonna always go out there and do my best. How so? How did that affect you also? It, it brought us uh, closer together. Closer together, definitely. Um, it it really inspired me to be the best person I can be and to be afraid of nothing. Because nothing's worse than, like my brother said, you know, watching opportunities pass you by. Adi? I feel the same way. I think it um, brought us closer together. As in, you know, we had a, a common. Um, it was. It, it, we were very distraught. Yeah. We, were, we were doing it all together. So it, it bonded us closer. We got to live together again. You know, because we had been separated for a little while. And I like what they were saying, like, there's nothing harder than getting old, but also there's nothing harder than watching your father die. Right. Oh, yeah. so. For sure. Um, when, it, when it comes to also, you had another, uh, as far as your father passing, that was, a, that was, you know, you had to get over that. But you also faced your own personal mm -hmm. adversity. Right? I did. Um, in 2013, I got hit by a car. Um, the driver was texting, and I ended up fracturing my um, hip bone, and I had a contusion to my knee. So. Um, I was out for a while. I had to get knee surgery. Um, I couldn't walk. Justin was living with my, me and my, my mom at the time, so he would help me. You know, I couldn't do anything for myself for a little while, and I was on crutches for a bit. So it was, I had to face the challenges of getting back into the gym, the weight gain after inactivity, mm -hmm. and um, just building up the confidence to want to do it again and, you know, 
working on my, myself, throwing the punches right with the with the broken bones right. and stuff. So it's been a challenge. She was actually leaving the gym when she got hit by the car. She was oh, crossing was, the street yeah. to go to the store to get some water. All right, let's start. Next month is the uh, the Golden Gloves 90th anniversary of the yeah. New York Daily Golden Gloves. How do you guys feel about this coming up this month? Next excited, month? excited, very excited. You ready? Yeah, yeah. I'm, we're ready for it. We're doing our best. We're training hard. You know, we're in the gym, and um, is there any particular gym you guys train at? Uh, we got a lot of different gyms, but <laughs> the the main one uh, is. Bed-Stuy Boxing Gym is the first one that I started at. has a lot of history, you know, and I want to bring that. When it looks at, as far as your particular style, what type of style you guys have? You like to throw the jabs, you like to fight inside, you like to, you know, you know throw the left hook like in and out? I like to do a little bit of everything, but mainly boxing because my father always told us defense is the most important aspect of boxing uh -huh. because you're, you, can, you can't go anywhere if you're, you know, no. Your brain dead. Yeah. How about yourself? Yeah, my father was very big on defense. He said that he would he wouldn't have let me fought, fight if I was gonna get hit. So he wasn't, you know, that was, he was not a fan of. And you had to learn how to slip punches. Yeah. That yeah. Sort of thing, how to yeah. move, yeah. That way, move that way, right? move right. the shoulders, yeah. shift the shoulders. Um, uh, is there any particular fighters you like out there today? I know there's, um, there's Glenn, um, there's Triple G, mm -hmm. there's there's Danny Jacobs who's fighting next mm -hmm. month, I believe, right over at, at Madison yes. Square Garden in Dan, March. Danny Jacobs is an incredible guy, an incredible fighter. I love Triple G as well. I like Terrence Crawford. I like pretty much anyone that's gonna. I believe in closing the show. You know, I believe that if people pay their money to come watch you fight, mm -hmm. at some point in there, I'm going to go for the knockout. Like, I always came into boxing to be a, a destroyer. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they, they come in there and they, you know, you know they, 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 they fight smart. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, I'm going to take the person out. You know, your style. So, like, when is your next, when? When do you fight? You fight sometime next month. You're yeah, not sometime sure next month. They call us. They call us. How about yourself? Yeah, me too. Sometime next. Month. But you open up, right? Yeah, I'll, I'll open up the BB King. Yes, yeah, open up the tournament. I hope everyone comes out to BB King. And that's the day after the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. More politics with that. Yeah. It's gonna be a that. second Super Bowl. That's right. Second Super. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Be your own, right? Yeah, and I plan on trying to go out there and close the show for everyone and put on a great night of boxing. All right. I hope to see you guys at the finals. Yes. yes. In the ring. You will, you Not me. I you mean, will. but you know, you know. Right. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming. All right. All right. Thank you. And I hope to have you guys back soon. Thank you. We will definitely.